Right then, so, so I'm going to start this video by showing you the problem. Let's see if you know this problem. So, Surface Book 2, uh, i7 16 gig version, so you know it's got a keyboard with a GPU on it. And you think you're going to set up yourself a lovely solid machine, but it goes. Do, 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 dun, 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 dun. Effectively, the GPU drops in, the GPU drops out, the keyboard may or may not work. So, now that you've seen it, so hopefully that will save me having to explain it in too much detail. The Surface Book 1, sorry, Surface Book 2, that we're going to talk about now is the one where you've got your Surface Book 2. It has a keyboard fault on it, and for whatever reason, it will not pass a charge to your tablet part of the Surface Book 2 through the keyboard. It will also keep making this noise uh, and the battery will register as a zero and it won't get any charge to it whatsoever. It's a real pain. For a while I didn't know if it was a broken connector or a broken ribbon or something wrong with the motherboard. As you can hear it's still doing it now. Fresh build of the software has been put on it. Fresh build of everything has been done, the firmwares. You name it, I've tried it. Couldn't get it fixed. Uh, felt like crying. And I just also got stressed, this was an absolute mint machine. No scratch on it. I picked it up for a small price. And the battery count was three on the tablet and on the keyboard zero. So it obviously had a fault. Somebody put it in a drawer and forgot about it. And it luckily made it to me. Um, so I guess this video was me just talking about this problem. Maybe you've got this problem. Maybe you've looked at fixing it yourself and thought, well, I don't know where to start. Or maybe you thought about sending it to Microsoft and paying for an hour warranty exchange, which is a lot of money, especially as the Surface Book 2 is now superseded by the Surface Book 3. And from what I can tell, there's not really much difference between the two that would warrant you to do the upgrade. So if you can fix it another way, which is what I'm going to talk to you about now, then I'd strongly recommend it. I'm also going to caveat this problem without me. It might not work for you. But just to go over the symptoms again, from the keyboard, it will not charge the tablet. It will show, as in like the battery connector will show, as being connected. But it will never pass a charge to it. And the battery will slowly just run down and you'll end up with the flat tablet that you'll have to manually disconnect and through the pins. Uh, the charge will, however, go from there into the tablet side and you can happily charge it up that way and the keyboard will work but you have to put it with this dun 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 um, and you won't get a charge on this keyboard which has got the bigger battery in it so you lose pretty much a big chunk of the benefits of actually having the surface book it becomes a glorified tablet with a a tight cover for all intents and purposes so now I've discussed the problem um, the fix believe it or not was just changing the battery I don't know how changing the battery fixed this dun 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 and the fact that charging from there to the tablet now works and actually passes a charge. I can only think that the two work in tandem. So from a different keyboard with a really tatty back on it and scratches, which is heartbreaking, but a fairly mint battery because it came from a keyboard that's completely faulty. Um, and thankfully, upcycling, we can get one working system off two broken ones. I'm going to install this, and you'll see straight away that you've seen this going down and up, down and up, down and up. So it should, it should emulate your problem if you've got the same. We're going to put this in, and we're going to watch it go away. And we can watch it literally for only a few seconds and see that actually the problem's gone. Now, I've been lucky to get a battery with a base, if you, well, with a back plate. If you can get one, great. Otherwise, you have to buy this battery. Notice it's not the same as the non-perform the non-GPU keyboards. It's got three ribs on it, and it's got a connector here and a connector here, a black and a white one. The normal 1834 keyboards don't. They just have the connector in the middle, and the battery is smaller. Okay, so this is for the GPU ones, uh, and also for the performance base. I believe they're a very similar battery, if not the same. And when you're taking this off, just a bit of a tip. Heat around the edges, follow my other video of just going at it with some pace, but do it a lot better, a bit more control, you know, not as bad as I did it. Heat up here, 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 
and here and then gently prise it open it's a lot easier than the surface but one uh, but it still is more glue here and more stickiness here so you just got to take your time taking it off and don't yank it off like on my video where it just came apart this, these connectors look a little bit more expensive to get right again right so with that in mind let's in the time we've done this video which is five minutes and twenty you've heard that thing we're going to quickly change the battery now and you watch it going from 25 to 100 every time it flicks the battery still hasn't gone up past 25 and um, so let's do a change and see what happens oh god so the craziness in me is going to do this live so if we don't survive at least you got it recorded let's just put this down now so you can see what i'm doing right, so you can hear straight away so there's a connector here and a connector here so we pop them out out you come out you come old battery new battery Make sure it's facing the right way, battery's in the blanks. Slide it back in. The laptop's still on. Now obviously the noise is gone. Connect the battery back up. Get that tiddly little one in. Put it back together. fully charged and now you had 25 25 before 25 and 0 because I believe this battery is well from the ratio is 4 to 1 so now there's 100 and 100 so if that's two and a half hours on the big one right do the math it's 10 hours then isn't it for charge well I hope it's 10 hours otherwise I'm really crap at maths uh, but the point is she's as quiet as a mouse now not a noise there's two batteries charge is passing through and it's saying fully charged as well I don't know if you can see that fully charged but we'll leave it here just for a minute I can't really say much more about this while we wait but you won't hear it drop and the g-force is definitely there as you can see on my little setup of a surface recording the surface g-force cards there and the 620 is there as well and more importantly, you know, we're, we're coming to these, what, seven minutes of this video. Um, there's no special ed thing going on. You're seeing they're as crude as any other one of my videos. They're hopefully here just to help you. You've not heard that drop. You can see this. Nothing's happening here. There's obviously some issue with the technology in this battery strip here. That's causing it not to pass a charge up, but also it's causing it to cut the power to this keyboard temporarily to make the GPU disappear. Now, because this plate is so lovely, I'm going to actually buy a new one of these batteries, tear this off, put a new one on, and replace the bottom of this back with this base. So I've got a lovely laptop then without any scratches on it, full stop. But I guess, coming back to myself now, I guess I made this video really for anybody else that's that's had problems like I've had with these Surface Book 2s. Spares are not readily available. So the moment I got one, um, I guess I could do a bit more troubleshooting on it and finding out that just swapping the battery actually gets rid of a charging fault, a GPU fault and a battery fault all in one go. It's knowledge that I thought I'd share with you to save you money in the future. And if it helps you, great. If it doesn't, I'm really sorry. You get a new battery out of it though, put the other one on eBay. Um, but hopefully my fix helps you out with your fix and saves you having to go to microsoft and pay a fortune so we've been on for nine minutes i've been talking randomly now for the last one minute it hasn't flicked once i can't really make anything more upon that all i can say is um if you do get the similar issue and it fixes your problem please put a little bit uh, put a link put a comment in below letting people know that yes it works and you know, if you've got any other little tips or tricks to help people out, you know, this is a community to help people, really. It's not always about the money. You know, spread a bit of love and hopefully someone comes back your way one day when you really need it. So I'm going to wrap this video up now. Um, if you do like this and subscribe to it, I would be very, very, very grateful to you because I've got a fairly small amount of followers and I wouldn't mind getting a few more. 
Um, I guess that's it. So thank you, and I'm signing off. <laughs>